Beneath the surface, there is a silent saboteur threatening our shores. New research shows for the first time our oceans have dangerous levels of acid, damaging coral reefs and causing shells to weaken. It's an unseen problem. Unlike plastics where you can see those floating around, carbon dioxide going into the oceans, it changes the chemistry. These scientists have been studying ocean acidification since 2010. Until now, they believe the levels were still safe. But new technology shows the safety limits were breached five years ago. The damage is far more extensive than previously understood. The rate of acidification is twice as fast here than open ocean. And we're just six miles from Plymouth. What this could mean is that Britain's most loved shellfish could disappear from these waters in the next two decades. So there's a really simple way we can show this. Back at the lab, I'm shown just how quickly carbon can affect the ocean by blowing air into water. You can start to see it's becoming more purple. It started off as this blue colour. And then you've blown carbon dioxide into that and it's made it more acidic, which is represented by the colour change. How did you feel when you realised, actually, the data you were now recording showed that you were well into dangerous levels of acid in oceans and seas? It's really worrying because we aren't ready for that and we're not seeing the pace of change in the policy, in, the, in how we live and how we emit carbon dioxide that matches that concern in the data that we're seeing in the oceans. Scientists warn extreme examples like this could be seen in the next two decades, where shells like this one on the right are weaker from acid. But already coastal communities across the country are noticing a change. In Cornwall, the Marshall family farm mussels and oysters, but they've recently started to lose crops. 40 years ago when we started farming the oysters, they were tough as boots, you know. Now it just feels as though they're, they're slightly more fragile, they're not quite as hardy. Um, it's a real worry, so it is, a, it is a slow change and a very gradual change, but you can see things changing. Our island nation has guarded its shores for centuries, but now the UK faces a new threat, one we're not yet defending against. Sangi Talal, ITV News.